Mutual Fidelity Insurers of Sacramento. Yeah, well, there's gotta be a listing, honey. I pay them six Gs a year in premiums. China is here, Mr. Burton. Yeah, go ahead. All right. The Chan scene. Yeah, okay. The Wing Kong. They've been fighting for centuries. What does that mean? Huh? China is here? I don't even know what the hell that means. All I know is this low pan character comes out of thin air in the middle of a goddamn alley while his buddies are flying around on wires cutting everybody to shreds and he just stands there waiting for me to drive my truck straight through him with light coming out of his mouth? Jack, please. Hello. Oh, yeah. When okay. did this happen? Yeah, yeah, okay, it ahead. didn't, Uncle Chu. Not like he says. Yeah, it did, Uncle Chu. Two hours ago. Tall guy, weird clothes. First you see him, then you don't. Yeah, is this just a switchboard? I mean, is there an agent Pong there appeared on the street. I can barely hear Wan you. Wanchi, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to alarm you, Uncle. Look, I'm going to tell you about an accident. I don't want to hear act of God, okay? All right, look, what's your name? Mine's Jack Burton. Good afternoon, Mr. Wall. Eddie Lee, meet my dear friend Jack Burton. Eddie's a new major d here at the Blackpool. And a whole lot more. Well, I don't know my policy number. It's in the glove compartment. Just just look under B-U-R-T-O-N, will you please? Jack Burton? Yeah. Ah, oh, go ahead. Boy, the guy you always tell me about, huh? Give me that again, will you? I was, I was talking. Then that was your abandoned truck. Abandoned like hell. Yeah, r hello. Hello. Ha, <laughs> ha, oh, Christ. Bad news. The Lords of Death stole it after you ran away. They stole my truck. Uh-huh. Take it easy, Jack. You're with friends. We'll find it for you. you damn right you will, Wang. And my money. And time is money to a guy like me. And your phone is dead, by the way. How do you think I feel, Jack? I lost the whole girl. The Lords of Death, they were only on the stupid joyride, see? Not acting on any orders from the Wing Kong. They just wanted a girl to sell. And Miao Yin got in the way. Plus, I found out the skirmish you guys stumbled into. Lopan, the word is, ordered the boss of the Chang Sings, Mr. Lem Lee, assassinated. That was his funeral. It was a war, Eddie. What are you doing here? Don't panic. It's only me, Gracie Law. Oh, great. Uh, I just happen to be in the neighborhood on a dark and stormy night. This is my neighborhood. Well, sure it was a war. And anybody that showed up was going to join Lem Lee in the hell of being cut to pieces. Hell of being what? Chinese have a lot of hell. And what the hell is Gracie Law doing here? She can't get enough of me. Huh. He wishes. Look, you know me. I'm always poking my nose where it doesn't belong. And as a result, I admit it, this mix-up is my fault, sort of. But I've got it on good advice. That those punks that jumped me and ripped off his truck, the girl they kidnapped, they took over to the White Tigers for a quick sale. Who was she? My fiancé. The White Tigers? Oh, God, I'm sorry. If we get over there tonight fast, maybe we can buy her back. A search warrant's too complicated. Violence out of the question. Hold it, hold it, slow down. I'm feeling a little like an outsider here. You are. Jack, listen, I need more of your help. I can't pay you today, okay? Oh, How can I? I need all my cash for Mao Yin. And it's gonna cost. She's got green eyes. Oh, no, seriously? Well, that's an extra to these people. It's like leather bucket seats. It's double the price. What people? Look, the slow pan I ran over through has spirit medium powers like the immortals. His flesh and his bones are atomized. He becomes a dream. What? That's an exaggeration, Jack. I promise. Please, help me, okay? I got a great idea. 